Hi, we're here at the Bull Performance Testing Station in ICBF, located in Kildare Town. Uh, my name is Stephen Conroy, and I'm going to give you a run-through of assessing the fat cover on an animal uh, ready for slaughter. So in terms of the, the fat cover, there's actually numerous ways you can do it. Uh, the most common is a visual assessment done uh, in the feedlot or in the shed by the farmer. Uh, then there's a manual assessment which I'm going to talk through today because I think it's the, the more accurate assessment that can be done. Uh, you can also then do an objective assessment such as ultrasonic scanning and that effectively is ultrasound measurement through roughly here the third lumbar vertebrae that looks at the depth of subcutaneous fat and by doing that then that gives a predictor of fat on the carcass and that's actually highly correlated uh, to the grading machine. And then the, the fourth uh, as assessment you can do is based on your records. And that's a, an important one to always remember. If you view similar type genetics, so this animal, for example, is a Hereford coming from a dairy cow. Uh, you can see it's a 19 month animal. You can go back and look at your records and see how did that animal finish on that diet last year at 19 months of similar genetics. So you need to keep a number of factors in mind. And before I go through the assessment, another key point is fat uh, can vary across the, the animal based on genetics and based on animals. So you have to look and assess a number of key areas. You can't just look to one area. So when assessing fat cover on an animal, uh, another important area is to look at the ribs. So just go from behind the shoulder right down to the, the stomach or the hip bone. So what you do is you just get the flat of your hand and you move it along the ribs nice and gently. And if the animal is fit and has good fat cover, you'll feel it hitting the palm of your hand. It won't actually, you won't feel it again in your fingers. So it'll be nice and smooth the whole way along. Um, if you feel it over your fingers, then the animal is not fleshed enough. And one of the key things then to note then is afterwards, is just have a feel of the animal's ribs. Just softly feel it. And if you can feel the ribs, it means the animal's not too far gone in terms of being over fleshed and hitting that uh, five category in the fat score. When I'm here then, another thing you can do is just move your hand up to the line. So the line being from the, the hip bone to the, the shoulder. This is, um, there's three main cuts here. You have the strip line here along the top of the back. So this is the left strip line and the right strip line. And then under this then you have the fillet and then you also have the cube roll. And these three cuts are 8% of the carcass weight when we kill out the animal, but they're actually 30% of its value. So they're three very important cuts here. In terms of the fat assessment, you can just put your hand here and feel the softness there, that subcutaneous fat. And there's a nice softness without being over soft. It's not a key area, but when you're at the ribs, you can also look at and have a nice feel of the line, get that feel there's a softness there. So the second area we're gonna look at is the brisket, just in between the shoulders here. And one of the key things you're looking for is the fullness of the brisket. So you can see here it's hanging down. There's a lovely softness to it. So there's lovely soft fat in here. And in terms of it then, if, if, if this animal wasn't finished, this would be up tight to the animal. So you wouldn't be able to grab that fullness and it'd be very tight along. It wouldn't be hanging down. So there's good fullness uh, between, the, between the, the front shoulders of the animal. So there's definitely very good fat cover. So it's a very good sign the animal is, 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 is fit for slaughter. So the third area we're going to look at is the flank. So it's just this area hanging down here, uh, just in, in, inside of, the, inside of the, the leg. So the most important thing is you can grab it. So if this animal wasn't fit for slaughter, this would be up tight. You wouldn't be able to hold on to this. Now, there's a nice softness here. It's not over soft. So it's telling me if the animal was over fat, you'd be feeling a lot of flesh here, a lot of heavy flesh. When the animal would be running, you'd see this moving. So that's a good sign. You'd see it vibrating here. So it's a good sign that the animal is, is, is fit for slaughter, but not over fit. So the next area we're going to look at is uh, fat around the tail head. And where we're looking at here is, the tail is obviously here. We're looking either side of the tail. And what you want to feel on a fit animal is just a nice amount of softness here. A lot of people, this is the first place that they would actually look because it's most visible on the animal. And if you see a lot of pudginess here, so it's getting very high and very soft and fat, that's indicating to me that the animal has stopped growing and it's going to start to deposit a large amount of fat. So this animal is just nicely fit. It's going to be in the three plus four minus category and you're going to feel just a nice softness there, but there's still a firmness when you feel down. So it's not over fleshed. 